I solemnly swear to life for a paycheck and a pension. <laughs> now that we got the truth out of the way. I put up a video on my Instagram and it kind of flew and it's at like close to 300,000 views. And I'm getting slammed over there by the bootlickers. What I would like you guys to do is go over there and give me a hand. I've been trying to answer these guys, not really turn them away, but I want to educate them and let them understand what I'm doing and why I do it. I know the video is a little bit deceiving because it doesn't show really what happened. It just kind of shows me going off on the cops. So I kind of understand where they're coming from when they say that I was just being a, an asshole or whatnot. But you guys know me. You guys know that for the most part, I'm cordial to officers and when my my buttons get pushed that's when I kind of go off on them and that's what happened in that video but here's my uh, Instagram you guys please go check it out you guys give me a hand over there it's it's getting uh, pretty crazy and thank you guys for going over there if you do I'll see you guys in the comment section but for now I want to play a video that I found this morning on uh, I actually seen it on Brian at high impact flicks video on his channel this morning but I seen it last night and I figured I'd share it for you guys as well let me know what you guys think I'm not very political I don't go left and I don't go right but I thought this video was very interesting. You guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Thank you, Jordan. Yes, I just uh, finished having a great conversation with Stephen here. Yes, Stephen, yes. he is a native to Kansas City. Beer man. Beer man, but they call Beer Man. Um, he is actually here in Oklahoma. He yeah. said, he mentioned to me earlier how he uh, came in with a limo. Yeah, with a, a limo. limo. Show me a little bit about yeah. 27 feet of winning, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Four bones on 100 spokes, large and in charge, big cars and movie stars. Came Twisted in in style. In style. And sex appeal. <laughs> In style. So, uh, Stephen, tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me, wh when did you become a Trump supporter and what drew you to him? And what were you always um, a conservative, Republican? Tell yeah, me. Yeah, I walked away from the Republicans back in uh, 2006. Once we gave them a trifecta from 04 to 06, they spent like drunken sailors and they became, you know, basically Democrats. So I walked away from them back then. You know, then they, uh, you know, half the country's wealth was stolen in broad daylight. You know, September of 09, nobody goes to jail except Bernie Madoff, and he was stealing from his own people. Then, of course, they ushered in Obama to normalize Marxism in the United States of America, teeing it up for Hillary to do us in. You know, I just, uh, you know, you think it'd be common sense you wouldn't vote for a guy named Obama for president of the United States, particularly since that wasn't even his real name, but, you know. Well, thank you for sharing that. Uh, one more question for you too. What, wh where do you, wh where do you stand with um, all the issues that are taking place um, in today? Uh, well, or I should say more recently with the whole BLM movement, the whole police, uh, anti-police, um, anti-government, almost basically. What, where do you stand with all that? Well, I mean, the thing is, is that I mean, if you're going to burn down cities and defund the police, you're no friend of ours. I mean. These people are the same people that rigged an election, rigged an investigation, and rigged an impeachment process against the American people, and they lost all three. I mean, they voted for a guy named Obama not once, but twice, and he stole everything. That's why they were down on Epstein Island raping and eating those babies down there. Just look at the flight logs. They all knew who he was, what he did, where he did it. That's why they got on his plane to fly down there and do it with them. That's, that's what the real problem is. It's pedophilia. And, and as soon as, uh, you know, everybody finds out that all these people are pedophiles, that's when the party really begins. Yes, we got to expose them for who they really are and right. show people, give people the truth instead of catching Five thousand dollars worth of hot wow. dogs. Please explain that to me. Wow. It's in their own emails. Wow. Well, thank you for sharing that. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. I had one question for you. Yeah. Why do you choose today not to wear a mask? Well, the reason why I don't wear a mask is because it's not easy being a trendsetter. You know, uh, it, you know, people think it's easy, but uh, but it's not. I mean, it's a it's a hoax. Ninety nine point seven percent survival rate. Are you kidding me? I mean, you've got Bill Gates running around like a psychopath trying to cram his vaccine down my throat. And I'm doing just fine without it, Bill. Didn't you go down to Epstein Island yourself? I, you know, Epstein and Weinstein just doesn't sound like a Presbyterian problem to us. <laughs> Well, thank you for sharing that. But of course, that does not go against the basic safety procedures that we should be doing at, 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 at a daily basis, at a daily basis, washing your hands, staying at, at least as far away as possible. If you took yeah. that mask off, I'd make out with you. <laughs> oh, my God.
<laughs> well, anyways, Stephen, it was so great talking with you. And thank you so much for your time. Uh, uh, thank and you. Do you have anything else you want to say maybe to other Trump supporters yeah, no, or watching who can't be out I, here? Absolutely. Stars and bars, red, white, and blue home team, man. It's Trump 2020. They're throwing an octogenarian at us, struggling with dementia, trying to hide liquor on his breath, dealing with a son who just got a stripper pregnant down in Arkansas, cheating on his dead brother's okay. wife. <laughs> well, Stephen, again, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. You have a blessed day. Well, uh, he had a, a lot to say. And you guys, don't forget to head over to my Instagram and uh, help me out with the bootlickers over there. And let's try to take it easy on them and let's try to win over the votes and not hand them over to giving up the First Amendment. Mm -hmm.